Hey, I'm Patrick. Hey, I'm Steven. We're the National Film Society. And today we're talking about what you should go see in movie theaters. You have plenty of options if you're headed to the movie theater over this holiday break. We haven't seen any of the movies that we're about to talk about, but here are some of our thoughts on what's playing in movie theaters right now. Django Unchained. I'm not a big Quentin Tarantino fan, so I probably won't see this. It's kind of long. How long is it? I think it's like over two and a half hours. I heard uh, he drops the n-word 115 times. Does that make you not want to watch it? That's probably what makes the movie really long. Parental Guidance. I have no idea what this is. This is Billy Crystal, Bette Midler, and Marissa Tomei. Maybe I will watch it just for Marissa Tomei. It's like a family-friendly film. I am definitely not going to watch it. Yeah, I'm not going to watch this movie. Yeah. Guilt Trip. Also with Bette Midler. I think it's Bar Barbara Streisand and Seth Rogen are in this film. Not Bette Midler? No. I'm not a huge Barbara Streisand fan like my dad is. My dad loves Barbara Streisand. So I probably am not going to watch this. What if Bette Midler was in it instead? No. Zero Dark Thirty. I really liked The Hurt Locker a lot. It was really intense. I think it's obviously a super interesting story, you know, Bin Laden. So I'm really excited for Zero Dark Thirty. I definitely want to see this movie. I'm a big fan of Catherine Bigelow's. If it's anything like Point Break, it's going to be great. Jack Reacher. Uh, I think this is a sequel to Mission Impossible. No, it's not. Uh, I have no idea what it's about, so I probably will not see it. I just think I'm done with Tom Cruise, so I'm, I'm just not feeling it. This is 40. I'm not a big Judd Apatow fan, so I probably won't run out and see it. Although I do like Paul Rudd. I have sort of mixed feelings about Jed Apatow. I'm going to have to wait and see, you know, if, what people say first. Me? Well, you're not going to watch it, so... That's true. And I wouldn't really take your recommendation very strongly. You should. Le Miserable. I have no interest in seeing this movie at all. What about Anne Hathaway? No. Hugh Jackman. Wolverine. I mean, does he play Wolverine? If he has, like, the... That would be awesome, actually. A musical with Wolverine. That would be awesome. A period film. I would watch that. I would watch that, too. I'm not into musicals, but my wife wants to see it, so there's a high probability that I actually will see it. Amor. I have no idea what this film is about by Michael Haneke, but I'm a big fan of his. Uh, there's like two old people in an apartment. Does that sound good? Is that the tagline? Two old people in an apartment. That sound good? No, it's not, but it should be. So it looks like uh, Steve and I are going to go watch Zero Dark Thirty. Unless I go watch Le Miz, because my wife makes me. What do you think of these movies? Leave us a comment and let us know. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the National Film Society on YouTube. Thanks and happy holidays. Later.